assalamu alaikum here is another tutorial for prep one science this tutorial covers the fourth week of march planning which was from 23rd till 27th march in this tutorial we are going to discuss the second half of the chapter changing circuits which is from page number 187 till 193 in the last tutorial of this chapter we finished up till the topic of circuit diagram just to give a review circuit diagrams consist of symbols which are used to represent the different parts of an electrical circuit parallel and series circuits what are they a series circuit is a closed circuit in which the current flows in one path while a parallel circuit is a closed circuit in which the current is divided into two or more paths in our daily life series and parallel circuits are used in our homes in our schools offices and even the street lights here is a picture which clearly shows a parallel and a series circuit in a series or a parallel circuit two bulbs can be added together at a time both parallel and series circuits have some advantages and some disadvantages as well if we talk about parallel circuits the biggest advantage of a parallel circuit is that if one of the bulbs out of the two is taken out or damaged the other bulb will still light up why is it so it is because one part of the circuit is still closed because parallel circuits have more than one path for the flow of electric current but then there are some disadvantages of parallel circuits as well what is the disadvantage one of the disadvantage is that it is a complex thing to design it requires more size of cable and wires to design it apart from that more current is needed when additional light bulb is added in the parallel circuit series circuit as discussed is that circuit in which there is only one path for the flow of electric current the biggest advantage of a series circuit is that it requires less size of wire cable and it is very simple and easy to design it is the most simple method of electrical wiring and fault can be easily detected and repaired in a series circuit as compared to a parallel circuit apart from that the disadvantage of a series circuit is that if one light goes out they all go out as more lights are added they become dimmer now let's discuss the factors that affect the flow of current in an electrical circuit first one is the number of bulbs connected in series in the circuit the more bulbs are added the lower is the flow of current second one is the number of batteries connected the more batteries connected in a circuit the higher is the current the third factor is the type of wire used in the circuit the longer the wire the lower is the current flowing in the circuit the fourth factor is the thickness of the wire used in the circuit if the wire is thin the flow of current will also be low here is a written task at the end of this tutorial for you to complete in your classwork copies this written task covers all the topics just discussed in this tutorial i hope you found this tutorial useful thank you